A lot of local Dongyu would dare to try this one. This is a wild, I feel like I'm about to be a vampire. Straight up carnivore about to eat this. But... So in Ishan, you might be really used to the papaya salads, the lops, the really funky flavors. But what's interesting here in Kolat is that they have their own noodle dish. It looks very similar to Pad Thai. It's actually Kolat's answer to Pad Thai. The noodles at first glance look a lot thinner. And I love to see it made fresh in the front over here. Cook it up with the chicken. I got it spicy. Let's give this a try. It looks absolutely delicious. Mmm. <laughs> has a slight bit of sweetness to it, but it's got that chili kick. And yeah, it's, I like this better than pata. I like this not as sweet. And I like the texture of these noodles and the thinness of them. So what makes this dish unique is this soybean paste they put in. You actually see these little bits of soybeans. He actually, it's a really unique pink color. That's also what gives the noodles this distinct pink color. And also just those really thin rice noodles. Uh, very distinct, really like this. This is actually the second plate right here. I'm finishing up right now, so much I like it. Add a little extra in the sprout. Great. Definitely a must eat in Kolat. Mi Kolat, the Padmi Kolat. A quick stop in Cambodia. Actually, looks like it, right? <laughs> Welcome to Pamai! Pamai is that actually it's the ending road of it was an ancient road connecting Pimai and Angkor Wat in Cambodia. This is a Khmer temple. It looks very much like Angkor Wat. It's beautiful here. It's well maintained. We're some of the only people here. It's stunning. It is so clean.
table. It's filled with all Isan food. Yeah. Some of it we've, I mean, never, ever, ever tried before. And after our visit to the temple, we are extra hungry after that adventure. So we got a huge spread full of stomach here, man. Can't even start where to begin. I know where I'm beginning. Okay, go for it. This is a wild one here, the soklek made with raw beef, beef stomach, and it's in blood. This is a wild, I feel like I'm about to be a vampire, straight up carnivore about to eat this, but I had to order it. It looks really, really interesting. Ooh, smell that toasted rice powder and those lob spices. Mm -hmm. All right, without oh, further ado, it's gonna go right in. A lot of little cold, don't even dare to try this one. Mmm, <laughs> that's really good. Oh, wow, yeah. I really, really doesn't affect me that much. Like, the blood is really like actually a nice texture. I like the cooling feeling of that blood with the as crazy as that sound with the raw beef. The raw beef is very nice. It's not funky. It's not gamey. Um, and just with that lob seasoning, it's really perfect. Herbs, spice, a little citrusy, and then the fresh sky in there. It is delicious. Oh. It's an excellent dish. I don't taste any bitterness at all. We were warned it could be bitter. It's not bitter at all. So clean and fresh, like wow. I think that attests to the quality of the beef here. They do a really good job of it. So if you're squeamish, don't be. This is really an awesome dish. I love that is it. Delicious. It looks really good. It's minced beef. Mm. Smells almost coconutty in a way. It's just very creamy. Mm, really interesting. Our friend Ta. Thai native recommended to try this gang home dish. It's supposed to be an Isan classic. Let's try it. Mm. Very comforting. I taste, taste some dill in there, which I love. Dill is one of my favorite herbs anywhere. I like that minced beef. It's a little soupy in a way. It's, it's like a stew. Scallion in here. There's dill in here. Yeah. Adds a little crunchiness to it. Mmm. Wow. It's a very comforting dish. I can see this being just like a nice, like soulful, warming, comforting dish, especially with that dill. That dill really makes it very special. Wow. We also have somtom. You always gotta get somtom, the green papaya salad. Soup no mai. Of and course, the staple of every Isan meal, sticky okay. rice in the bamboo basket. Like the best way to eat it is like, I'm not sure if this is approved by Thai local right behind the camera, but <laughs> like dip my rice. Yeah, that's right. That's correct. Okay. Seal the bakula. Correct. Mm. <laughs> Just love sticky rice. Ooh. And then there's mint and then there's Stop cabbage. Like that blood. Ooh. Ooh. I may feel like Dracula right now, but I love this blood. <laughs> it's so good. It's incredible. One of the best dishes to try here at Isan so far. Not saying a lot, because it's a food, food heaven. So Lapsom Pit, this classic spot, is a must in Kolat. It's amazing.